Hey guys, it's Ria. I'm a three-time Yusuka finalist, and today I'm going to answer one of the most common questions I get, which is, how do I motivate myself to spend more time on Yusuko? Or how do I motivate my child to spend more time on Yusuko? So, let's get into it. Now, we're going to break it down into two different cases. The first case is, if you know that you should spend more time on Yusuko, and you have the time, but you still don't spend it. And the second case is that you're spending time on Yusuko, but you keep getting distracted and like going to other things like web browsing or going to like social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever that is, while you're supposed to be spending time on Yusuko. Maybe you fall under one of these two cases, maybe you fall in both of these two cases, that's okay. But the one thing we're not going to address in this video is how do we create time for Yusuko. This assumes that you already have time that you're, say, you know, wasting on other things, and you want to take that time and figure out how do you motivate yourself to push it towards Yusuko. In a different video, we'll go into how to create time if you don't have time, how to then create time for Yusuko. So the first case is if you know you should be spending more time on Yusuko, and you have the time, but you just don't spend it. Now, there's a lot of different cases that could possibly be causing this. But one thing I heard that I was like, yes, this is what most of the Yusuko people I know sort of struggle with, who are struggling with this problem, is this guy named Dr. K, and he's a psychiatrist from Harvard. He's a medical doctor, and he specializes in, like, brain health. One thing that he said is that a lot of times, like, most Yusuko people are, like, very gifted. Growing up, they're one of the smartest in their class, if not the smartest. A lot of times they're told, wow, you're so smart. Like, you can ace your math test without studying, or wow, you're just so good at this, right? And typically what smart or so good at this means, um, and it's directly stated and you ace your math test without studying, is that A, you do really well, and B, you do well without trying and without putting in the effort. And so what this means is that subconsciously, you get this idea in your head that like, oh wow, if I do well and I don't study, then I'm smart. So this means that you may not want to study as much, because if you have to study to get those results, then you won't be considered smart anymore. And again, this is all subconscious, this is not like in your conscious head, but this sometimes goes through some kids' heads, right? Um, and then as you grow older, it's t in your subconscious. And so, you know, if you identify as smart, right, like it's integrated, in, 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 it's integrated into your identity and who you are. You might even say stuff like, oh yeah, I take AP classes, cause I'm smart. Um, and others might even see you as smart too. So either you go to like a top high school or you're in a normal high school, but you're one of the smartest kids in your school. So this idea that you're smart is just so ingrained in your identity that your subconscious doesn't want to do anything that threatens it. It may not want to say, oh, I don't want to work hard because if I have to work hard to succeed at Yusuko, then I may not be smart anymore. And if I'm not smart, who am I? Right? In some in extreme cases, you, you may not even know who you are without being, if you're, if you're not smart. And so this can, be, this can be one of those issues, right? Now, on the other hand, if as a kid you were praised for being hardworking, you're, like, you're so hardworking, that those kids work really, really hard at Yusuko. Because in their subconscious, it's like, oh, in order to be like good and to be praised by the adults. Because all kids want is praise from adults. That comes from an evolutionary standpoint, where kids need adults to survive from an evolutionary standpoint, right? Um, and so you want to get the praise because that helps you be more likely to survive like thousands of years ago. Now, it's just in your subconscious that you're trying to do stuff that get praise. Um, you said an evolutionary process, but now it's no longer really needed. But those kids who are like praised for being hardworking, in their subconscious, they're like, oh yeah, I want to work hard. It's just in their subconscious. And so they tend to work really, really hard at Yusuko. Now, notice that both these two types of students, one who is praised for being smart and getting results without working hard, and the other who is praised for being hardworking and now wants to work really hard, it wasn't really their choice as to how they were praised as a kid, right? Their, their, um, their performance now is sort of dictated by their subconscious brain, which comes from the praises they got as a kid. And so the question is like, what do you do about that? Right? Well, and you can't control how you're praised as a kid anymore. So what can you do now? Right? So the first thing to note is to focus on what matters. Okay, what matters is likely to most of you getting into a top college, getting a future job in software engineering. Um, which both of those two things are supported by advancing to your next division in Yusuko. 
Advancing is what matters, right? Colleges are not going to care if you spend 12 hours studying on Yusuko, or if you wasted 10 hours playing video games and you spend two hours studying. Colleges do not care one bit. They just care about the result. And yes, you may be able to brag to your friends when you do advance, like, oh yeah, I, I barely studied and I advanced. Cool, but you don't want to be even cooler if you advance faster. So it's about shifting, because now you're not getting like external praises for working hard without spending effort. I mean, you might be getting those, I suppose, but now it's, it's now that you know about this, it's your responsibility to cut that pattern off in your brain. So what you can do is you can praise yourself when you work hard. And obviously praising yourself is going to be less effective than someone else praising you. So what that means is you're going to have to do it multiple times. So every time, you know, you work hard and you spend, like, you only spend like 30 minutes on Yusuka, you can be like, yes, you spent 30 minutes, you did some good work. 30 more minutes later, like praise yourself again. Praise yourself for working hard. And, you know, it'll start to, it'll start to build up. And again, you're going to have to like undo years of praise for being smart. But you can do this. I've seen numerous students be able to do this, and there's no reason you can't too. If this is if this is where you are and this is what you're struggling with, then work on Yusuko and praise yourself for working on it. Maybe even give yourself a small treat. There's like a specific candy you like, or if you like going for a walk, then go for a walk, whatever it is. Just some, some small treat after working for a couple hours. Okay, but these methods I gave, they're like after you do a little bit of work, then praise yourself. But how do you get yourself to do that little bit of work in the first place? So Here's what I recommend. Plan out a specific period of time when you're going to work for Yusuko, work on Yusuko. And a chunk that you do should be no longer than two hours. So like after two hours, you know, go take a break. You can come back to it later if you'd like. Um, but let's just to sort out, no more than two hours in a day. We'll increase it as time goes on. But if we start out with a too big number, it can be really overwhelming. And you actually might want to start out with a big number and we'll get to why in a second. But Let's start out with just two hours. So don't do I want to say two hours. I want to plan what specific time. Let's say I'm going to say Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run an alarm Saturday at 11 a.m. And when that alarm rings, you know, if I'm just sitting doing nothing and wasting time, I'm going to start working on Yusuko. Now, obviously, if there's like an emergency test that comes up or, or something that really deserves your attention, fine, do that. But for the majority of cases, right, alarm rings. You work on Yusuko for the period that you're told. Now, what do you do if the alarm rings and you don't feel like working on Yusuko? Your brain probably starts making excuses like, oh, you know, it's 11 a.m. It's, it's tired. Let's, let's, uh, let's take a nap. Or, oh, it's going to be lunchtime. Let's, let's go eat. Well, here's the thing about the excuses your brain makes. They're likely true. 11 a.m. is close to lunchtime. Okay, so you, you know, you maybe you pick a different time beforehand, right? Let's say you pick 2 p.m. It's like, oh, 2 p.m. is my nap time. I don't know, right? Whatever time you make, like at that time, your brain will give you some sort of excuse. And it might give you an excuse of like, oh, you worked so hard today already. Just, just watch some TV. It might give you an excuse of like, oh, yeah, you just went for a run. Take a nap. These excuses are, are valid. And that's what makes them so hard, right? If the excuse was false, if it's like, oh, you know, it's your bedtime. We're like, no, it's not, it's 2 p.m. And that'd, that'd be a really easy excuse for you to uh, treat a break. If these excuses are preventing you from studying, which based on the fact that you're in this case, I'm going to assume they are, then they're probably true. And that's why they're convincing you. They're convincing you to not study. And so what you want to do is take note of all these excuses. Just write them down. And then ignore all of them study anyways. doesn't matter how convincing the excuse is, unless you are majorly sick. Small cough is like not majorly sick, but if you're majorly sick, okay, then you can not use to go. If you have an emergency class thing that comes up, okay, grades are important, you can not use to go. But other than those two extreme cases, your alarm rings, your brain's gonna start coming up with excuses. Expect that. Right? If you don't expect it, you can be like ambushed by those excuses. Those excuses come up, you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. And that just stops you from doing Yusuko. It's like, no, expect that, prepare for it. Cue pencil and paper or open a text document. Write down all those excuses. They look at them, say, hmm, interesting. And then work on Yusuko. And we'll come back to what to do with those later. Now, I said earlier that you should probably spend no more than two hours a day when you're just starting out with this. Now, some of you might want to be like, oh, on the weekends, I'm going to spend like 
five, six hours. Now why, right? Let's say you're currently spending, you know, maybe 30 minutes in the entire weekend and used to go. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna spend five hours on Saturday, five hours on Sunday, 10 hours in total. Why? Well, what your brain likes to do is like to create these all or nothing situations where it says you either do nothing, you do no use ago, or you do like 10 hours. And Dr. K, the Harvard psychiatrist, talks about this too. And he says the reason your brain does this is so that when you have to choose between zero hours or 10 hours, you're probably going to choose zero, right? If your brain tells you, oh yeah, it's not worth doing unless you do 10 hours, it's your brain's way of tricking you into doing zero. Because your brain knows that if you have to choose between 10 and zero, oh, you're probably going to choose zero. So it's going to say, okay, you want to start working on Yusuko more? Well, I don't want to. I'm happy watching TV. So I'm going to make you choose between zero and 10 hours, and you're going to choose zero, and then I'm going to be happy and keep watching TV. And so what you have to do is just keep that in mind. Like, okay, my brain is probably going to be saying that, yeah, I should be doing like the max of what I can possibly do. And I should take a step back and say, okay, I'm probably going to do Yusuko for one, maybe two hours in a day. And that's it. And then I'll move on to the next day. And if the next week I want to increase it by an hour, I can do so. I'll just increase by an hour. I mean, think about that. You're going to reach five hours a day in what, like four more weeks? If you start out with two hours in three more weeks, it's not that long. You'll get there pretty fast. And that way it'll allow you to have that gradual buildup and it won't allow your brain to trick you into going down to zero. Okay, so as a side note, some people feel the same way about taking classes, right? If as a kid they were told, oh wow, you're so smart and you did, you did that by yourself? Oh my God, that's, that's great. I can't believe you did that by yourself. So then they're making the connection in their head that what they need to do subconsciously to gain the praise, which is what kids are evolutionarily driven to to look for to seek out is good accomplishment and by themselves so now they feel like if they get support from a class or something for yusuko well great sure they'll have the accomplishment but it wouldn't be by themselves so it w it's not worth as much and again not consciously but subconsciously they may be feeling that right and in yusuko camp there's like two types of people one who take pride in making camp by themselves and the other who take pride in doing anything necessary to reach camp. This one time, this mom was reaching out to me and she really wanted her son to take platinum training with me. And I was like, sure, let's set up a call. We'll figure out how it's gonna work out. And then a couple weeks later when the call was supposed to occur, she said, oh, I'm so sorry. My son really wants to do it by himself. I tried to convince him that getting coaching is the better option, but he's supposed to do it by himself. I said, okay, no worries. Best of luck to him. And then when the Yusuko season rolled around, her son took the platinum contests and did not make camp. And on top of that, her son's scores were so close to the scores of other students who had made camp. He was, he was like this close to making camp. But for him, the way that his like subconscious was working, it's better to not make camp than to make camp with help. And so, you know, that's essentially what he ended up doing. What a lot of these kids who want to do it by themselves also think about is that like their friends might be like, oh yeah, well, I advance by myself. Sort of implicitly saying, that, oh, you advance with a coach. Not as worth it. But here's the thing. In a few years, it's not going to matter what those friends think. Right? Even your friends was like, oh yeah, I'm going to advance by himself and you advance with a coach. They're probably not going to say it like that. They're probably going to say it like, oh, Bob, Bob, did, Bob did it by himself. And both at least saying that, like, oh, you did it with a coach. Okay, less of an accomplishment. But here's the deal. None of that makes any sense. Okay, since so several years, when you're in college, it's not going to matter what your friends think about your use of code progression. What's going to matter is the college that you're in, because that is going to determine your path for the rest of your life. And getting to a higher use of code division is going to help you get into a better college. So focus on what matters. What matters is getting into that Yusuko division and getting into that great college. What doesn't matter is impressing your friends today, right? Impress them several years down the line when you get into a top college. What you want to do is you want to like praise yourself to doing whatever is required to succeed. 
you don't necessarily want to praise yourself for doing it by yourself, okay? If you have an older sibling who's like good at Yusuko or a parent who's a computer scientist, go and ask them for help. If you know a coach that you want to work with, if you want to work with me, link is in the description. You can just schedule a call. If we can't help you, all good. If we can, we'll talk about how that works. Whatever that is. You don't want to be that person who's like, oh, I, I just want to do this by myself for pride's sake. You want to be that person who's like, I want to do whatever it takes to succeed. Similarly, you'd want to be that person who's like, I'm a hard worker. Not the person who's like, I'm going to succeed and not work hard. So some of what you need to do is like shift your mindset a little bit. And shifting your mindset can really shift your performance in Yusuko, even though it seems a bit counterintuitive. And I hope you can sort of tell by this video that it can definitely make a difference. All right, now let's move on to case two, where you're spending time on Yusuko, but you keep getting distracted and like going to the other side, like your web browsing or social media or YouTube, whatever that may be. Now, if you're in bronze, this could simply be that you're just not interested in Yusuko. And if that's the case, then you know, maybe Yusuko just isn't for you, right? And that's, that's okay. Um, we're not going to adjust what to do if you're not interested in Yusuko, uh, because that probably just means that you should find a different activity that you're more interested in. Because if you're interested in something, you're going to be able to go a lot farther. Now, if you're silver and above, or if you're in bronze and you know that you're interested in Yusuko, then here's probably what's going on. So if you're spending a lot of time on Yusuko and you're not making the progress that you want to see, this could really be a little bit demotivating. And it can cause you to just scroll off to a different site, like, Oh, nothing's getting done in my Yusuko training. Might as well watch YouTube. Well, like something will get done there. I'll watch a fun video. And so if you make faster progress, you're going to be more motivated to spend more time on Yusuko. And so what I'd say is if you've been working on like a current method of preparing for Yusuko for two to three weeks and you're not seeing the progress you want to be seeing, change your study method, right? Give it two to three weeks so that you have a little bit of like, so you have a little bit of time to see if it works or doesn't work. But after a few weeks, if it's not, if you're not seeing the progress you want to be, try a different study method. That's perfectly okay. And you should try different study methods until you find one that really clicks for you. Another potential issue is, let's say you're spending a lot of time on one problem and you're just stuck and you cannot think of anything else. You're probably just going to get bored and go to a different site. I know I would. So what I'd say for that is after 15 minutes, if you have with no new observations, you can then get help on that problem. Right? Just like if you're working on a problem and you don't know the algorithm required, you're not going to be able to solve it. If you're working on a problem and you don't know the problem solving skills required, you're not going to be able to solve it. And if you're stuck for 15 minutes, chances are you're missing one of the problem solving skills required for that problem. And so at that point, you should get help to learn the next thing that you're missing. Now, I want to give you the disclaimer that if you're looking at the solution, it's going to give you that next observation. But the problem solving skills required is what you should do to arrive at that next observation. So if you're looking at the solution and it gives you that next observation, stop and think for five minutes on what you could have done to arrive at that observation on your own. All right, so that covers these two cases. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next video later. Bye.